very much, uh, program director and uh, leaders of the youth and students and uh, young parliamentarians and uh, young senators. Um, I'm very happy to be here and always very happy to speak to the future of the African continent because that's where I come from. I come from what we called um, the Young Pioneers. The Young Pioneers was an organization of children in the ANC. It used to be called Masupatsila. That's where we were taught struggle songs. That's where we were taught how to recite poems. That's where we were inculcated with political discipline and culture. And then from there, I went to be a student leader in COSAS, what is called South Af Congress of South African Students. It's an organization that is aligned to the ANC for pre-tertiary students. And then I became the youth leader of the ANC and a leader of the ANC. So there's no, there's no step I've missed in my life of politics. Um, I've led the ANC in my own right, not through the youth league, and, um, which means I've led a ruling party. So I can teach you politics of ruling party since of the incumbency, and I can teach you politics of the opposition. So I know both. I've been in the ruling party and I've been in the, I'm now in the opposition. One thing that you should know as young people is that you've got a license, a permit to make mistakes. So you must never in your youth seek to be perfect. Because once you seek to be perfect, you cease to be the youth. You are an elder. So there is no difference between you and Raila. There ought to be a difference. When they say you are a leader of the youth in Raila Odinga's party, there must be a difference between the youth in Raila Odinga's party and the leadership of the mother body. So the mother body has got a duty to always call you to order. So, because you've got energy, you must demand that things must be done and they must be done now. And the elders will always drag their feet because they've been there like you, being impatient and then deciding, ah, these things are what they are, in anyway, they won't change. You must come and push them to change. You must never, ever allow elders to make mistakes without you, the young ones, calling them out. So when the elections were run here in Kenya, uh, results were announced, there was a threat of violence. And we know what happened in the previous elections here in Kenya, where people died because of elections. Why should elections in Africa be associated with death? Because democracy is not death. Democracy, by all means, is a right to live and live a beautiful life. And most of the comrades in the Comrade Raila Odinga's party were not happy with me when I said, you're not going to do violence in the name of elections and in the name of Honorable Raila Odinga. Because no one must die after elections. Even when Raila Odinga is robbed and cheated, with clear evidence, no one must die. Robbed with evidence, daylight, no one must die. Why should people die? Because you are robbed elections. There are systems in Kenya where dispute can be made, and then once the final arbiter makes a final decision, whether we are happy with it or we are not happy with it, we must accept it. Those clowns in America, they rob each other all the time. Huh? I mean, uh, 
uh, uh, Trump was feeling like he's being robbed. He even said, stop counting, stop counting, stop the counting. Because he said he, he was being robbed. Then they went to storm whatever they stormed, but they came back to their senses. No, 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 no. It's not done like that in America where we storm things and people die in the name of elections. So if we say we are equal like them, we want to be at the same level with them, violence is not an option on the basis of electoral outcome. Must never be. It, why is violence not an option? It's going to be black on black violence. And you can't say you are a Pan-Africanist and be willing to kill another African based on elections. If it is meant to be for President Raila Odinga to become president of Kenya one day, no one, no amount of cheating will stop that. They can succeed now. It will eventually happen. So those who are not happy with me say, get out of Kenya politics. Kenya, this is not South Africa. This is my home. This is my politics. Kenya's politics are my politics. The same way the politics of South Africa are yours. Any destabilization in any corner of Africa affects us. I celebrate the victory of Niger as if it's mine. Because anything that drives the French out of our continent is worth celebrating by all of us. And that's why I celebrate that. Now, the, 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 the ones of President Ruto are also not happy with me. Because I said, why would you say you are a Pan-Africanist? Because Pan-Africanism is necessitated by the fact that we are an oppressed nation. We are a dejected nation. We are a rejected nation as Africans. That everyone else who is rejected should find sympathy in us because we know what being rejected means. Now, Palestine, Palestinians are being rejected, are being isolated, they are being killed on their own land, the same way the Mau Mau rebellion heroes were killed by occupiers, the same way the Bambata rebellion uh, heroes were killed by the occupiers, the same way people were killed in South Africa during apartheid. President comes and says, I'm with Israel. How do you say that? An Israel that is bombing children, in hospitals, pregnant women in hospitals. How do you say you're with Israel that bombs a refugee camp? What happened to an international law? A president can say a lot of things and say nothing at the end. President Ruto has got a platform to speak and not say anything on Palestine, on Israel, on it. He can, that thing, it is called a diplomatic language. Yes. So you stand up and then speak like that about pregnant women who are dying, and then you say, we must keep quiet, because if we speak, we are attacking the president. No. No. A pan-Africanist, when he sees children being murdered, a pan-Africanist, when he sees occupiers killing, the rightful owners of the land can never sympathize with such people.